Before the latest lockdowns, Adrienne White used to work 40 to 50 hours a week across three jobs. My day would differ a little bit uh, day to day. I would often go from one job to another, um, maybe work afternoons and then into evenings. Now she's only working five hours a week after being stood down from her other two roles, including one at the Sydney Theatre Company. We were about to head into multiple shows, um, so that would have been quite a lot of shifts for all of the ushers. We would have been working a lot. She's the kind of person who shows up when you look deeper into the labour force figures. At first glance, a fall in the unemployment rate seems good, but it's not. The number of people in a job or looking for one fell close to a percent, as another 167,000 left the labour force. The number of hours worked plunged again, down 3.7 per cent, as the underemployment rate jumped above 9 per cent. If we look at the effective unemployment rate, which includes uh, people who have left the labour force uh, or people who are working zero hours, it could be above six or seven per cent. The job losses were concentrated in New South Wales, which was in its second month of lockdown. Counterintuitively, as lockdowns and restrictions start to ease in coming months, it could lead to an increase in Australia's unemployment rate. Economists say as businesses start to fully reopen, people who stopped looking for work during lockdown will start looking again. Not all of them will find a job waiting for them. And that could happen if we see participation recover more quickly than employment does. And that's actually something we saw last year when the unemployment rate peaked at almost 7.5% uh, after restrictions had actually eased. But until lockdowns end, hundreds of thousands of Australians are getting by without their day job, just like Shane Cousins. For the past 32 years, he's been cutting hair, but lately the only thing he's been cutting is his spending. We're treading water, but, we're, you know, the belt strings are very tightly pulled. Shane and his partner Peter, also a hairdresser, have been out of work since Sydney's lockdown began. Like countless other stood down workers, they're being supported by the COVID disaster payment as they spend their days walking their dogs and keeping busy in the garden. I just want to get back to work. But just to be able to have the emotional stability of working, I think will be a really big uplift for the both of us an uplift many other Australians would probably like too.